Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve the integration problem by trigonometric substitutions. In all these problems, we notice that there is cos 2x present. So, we are going to use cos 2x formula, but we have cos 2x, there are four formulas. So, let us write the first three. Cos 2x is nothing but cos square x minus sin square x. Then 2 cos square x minus 1 then 1 minus 2 sin square x. Another one is in terms of tan that we are not going to use it now. If I take the first problem we have to use the proper formula. Then it is very easy to simplify. In the first problem in the numerator there is 2 sin square x. So it is better to use the third formula in place of cos 2x become 1 minus 2 sin square x then the last term is plus 2 sin square x. So if we use a proper formula we can complete the problem faster. So after the substitution we can cancel in the numerator minus 2 sin square x plus 2 sin square x. So we left with integral 1 by cos square x dx which is nothing but secant square x dx. So, integration of secant square x dx, we have a diag formula which is tan x plus c. Now, coming to the second problem, we have cos 2x in the numerator and the denominator we have cos x plus sin x. So, it is better to use the first formula because it is having both sin and cos term. So, we are going to replace the numerator by cos square x minus sin square x. So, we have the question here. So, which is equal to integration of cos square x minus sin square x whole divided by cos x plus sin x whole square dx. Now numerator can be written in the form of a plus b into a minus b because this is like cos square x minus sin square x is a square minus b square. So a plus b which is cos x plus sin x into a minus b cos x minus sin x. Then the denominator as it is that is cos x plus sin x whole square. So we can cancel this entire term and this square and we have into dx. Now writing the rest of the terms integral cos x minus sin x whole divided by cos x plus sin x dx. Here let us take the denominator cos x plus sin x as t. So dt will be differentiation of cos x is minus sin x and sin x is cos x. So we got the entire numerator itself that is cos x minus sin x into dx. So this can be replaced in terms of t as dt by t which is log t plus c and replacing the t we get log mod cos x plus sin x plus c. Now third subdivision we have integral cos 2x minus cos 2 alpha by cos x minus cos alpha. We notice that everything is in terms of cos. So it is better to use the second formula because cos 2x we have in terms of cos itself that is 2 cos square x minus 1. So we are going to replace in the numerator for both the terms that is cos 2x is nothing but 2 cos square x minus 1 then minus cos 2 alpha is cos square alpha 2 cos square alpha minus 1. So we replaced cos 2x formula for both the term in the denominator cos x minus cos alpha as it is. Now in the numerator we have 2 cos square x minus 1 When I take this minus inside we get minus 2 cos square alpha then this minus 1 when I multiply it minus it will become plus the whole divided by cos x minus cos alpha 
dx. Now we can cancel minus 1 plus 1. After this, we can take two outside the integration as common. This will become cos square x minus cos square alpha whole divided by cos x minus cos alpha into dx. Once again, the numerator we are going to split into a plus b into a minus b form. So cos x plus cos alpha into cos x minus cos alpha a plus b into a minus b whole divided by denominator cos x minus cos alpha into dx. Now we can cancel cos x minus cos alpha and the remaining term we are going to split into two parts. So 2 integral cos x dx plus 2 integral cos alpha dx. But here cos alpha is also constant. So how this 2 we have taken outside, we are going to take the cos alpha also outside. So 2 cos alpha integral dx. So this is 2 into integration of cos x is sin x and this 2 cos alpha is constant it is written as it is integration of dx is x then we have plus c.